In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a digital piano to a MacBook with a MIDI to USB converter cable from Legato. First of all, disclaimer time, Legato contacted me and asked if I wanted to test out their product. They make a whole bunch of music related stuff from wireless systems to effect pedals, guitar accessories and other cables. What got me interested is this MIDI to USB cable. So they kindly sent me one to test out, but as always, no money has been exchanged and I'm free to give you my honest thoughts to you. With that all being said, let's install this cable. I'm going to use my Yamaha YDP131 full size digital piano for this review, along with my 2013 MacBook Pro. We simply have to connect the in cable to the out terminal underneath the piano and the out cable to the in port Slightly confusing as we normally expect to line things up from in to in, out to out, but with MIDI it's different. The out signal from the piano goes into the in cable, if that makes any sense. That's how I usually remember anyway. On the other end, simply plug the cable into the USB port and we are done. With the Mac, I don't even have to install any drivers. With that out of the way, I simply fired up GarageBand and it detected the piano right away and I could immediately select an instrument, piano of course, and play with my physical keyboard. Of course, you can select other instruments as well. It's super simple. Bear in mind that the audio now comes out from the MacBook speaker or headphone port. The piano still plays the original onboard sound. At this point, I have to shamefully admit that I can't actually play the piano or read any sheet music. I just enjoy playing random stuff that I make up on the spot or in the past if I really wanted to learn a song, I would watch YouTube videos frame by frame literally, watching people play or learn from tutorials that way. Eventually, I did find this amazing piece of software called Cynthia. Synthesia, Synthesia. I'm running the demo version here, but it makes it a lot easier to learn new songs. However, since I don't have a piano with USB connection and I don't want to buy a audio interface with MIDI ports, I never had the option to link my piano to this piece of software. Uh, that is until now. With this cable, you can actually see what keys you are playing, for example, which makes it much easier to follow along and turns the whole learning experience into a game, pretty much. But instead of playing musical games like Guitar Hero or any other rhythm-based games, you can actually learn to play real songs on a real piano, which I think is a lot more beneficial. So let's wrap things up then. I really don't know why I didn't find out about such a cable before. I always thought that I needed an audio interface where it's quite expensive and I didn't need all the extra functions like the mic input and all that kind of stuff. But with this cable only costing around 14 pounds or about 20 US dollars, hopefully it will unlock some of my potential as well maybe. The Possibilities are pretty endless, but now I can learn songs with the app much easier by following along and seeing what actual keys I'm playing as well. I can play around with different songs, not songs, different samples, I mean, in GarageBand, especially with the piano as well. Even though I can't really play anything properly, I do find that the Yamaha Grand Piano sounds a little bit too bright for my liking. With the Steinway Grand Piano on GarageBand, for example, I have the ability to mess around with the tone and stuff like that, which I quite like and it's fun to explore.
I think this is a fantastic tool to have to connect your piano to the computer, like I said, especially if you don't have a USB port. In the past, I have recorded my random improv stuff into my Zoom H1 recorder, but I have no idea what the keys are now. If I had this cable, I would have been able to record the keys in GarageBand or even turned it into the sheet music, but I'll probably just look at the um, piano roll so I can see what keys I actually pressed to remind myself that way. With that being said, I hope you found this video interesting in some way. If you did, please consider giving me a like. A huge thank you for watching as always. My name is Joe, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.